Hello there. Welcome back to my channel. This is EDM3369 Vlogs. And in this video presentation, we shall talk about the creation, the story of the creation from the King James Version, the first book, Genesis, chapters 1 and 2, verses 1 to 3. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth And the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters In verse 3 God said let there be light there was light. In verse 4, God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. In verse 5, and God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Verse 6, God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Verse 7, And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. Verse 8, And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. In verse 9, God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. Verse 10, And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas, and God saw that it was good. Verse 11, And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. In verse 12, And the earth brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after his kind the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind, and God saw that it was good. Verse 13, And the evening and the morning were the third day. Verse 14, And God said, let there be light in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days and years. Verse 15 And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. Verse 16 And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. Verse 17 
verse 17. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. Verse 18. And to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. Verse 19. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Verse 20. And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that has life, and all that they fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. Verse 21 And God created great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. Verse 22 And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas. Let fall multiply in the earth. Verse 23 And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. Verse 24 And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind cattle and creeping things, and beasts of the earth after his kind, and it was so. Verse 25, And God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. Verse 26 And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Verse 27 So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female, created he them. Verse 28 And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Verse 29, And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. Verse 30, And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, where in there is life, I have given every green herb for meat. And it was so. Verse 31, And God saw everything that he hath made, 
and behold, it was very good, and the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Genesis chapter 2, verse 1. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. Verse 2. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. Verse 3. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work, which God created and made. That ends the story of the creation based on the book of Genesis, taken from the Old Testament of the King James Version. Every word that is included in this presentation is copy-pasted from the book of Genesis, chapters 1 and 2, verse 3, from the Old Testament of the King James Version. Any question or any comment, please do so, and I would gladly send my reply as soon as I can. Please subscribe for more videos like this, hit the notification bell icon for updates, and please remember to hit the like button as well. That's all for now, and see you in my next presentation. Thank you and goodbye. Take care.